um, during uh, my first hour class and my second hour class, I will be videoing. I'm hoping to get some other setup so it's, I don't have a tripod in the middle of the class, but we'll see. Um, videoing what I do, okay? And then um, it will be hopefully that night uploaded uh, on the website and so that way the students and parents can access it and see what we're doing, what we're covering, and go through it. So, anyways, welcome. Uh, first or last name? Lopez. Lopez, I think, right? Sophia? Yep, right there. Um, welcome, back to school night. Um, this is just a picture of the uh, where you were just at. Packet items in your packets that you have on your desk. Some of that is for you, actually. I don't even know if any of it's really for the student. Almost all of it is for parents. Um, but uh, with that said, we'll go through it. One of the things that are in there, it talks about the um, insurance, which I believe is the salmon co colored document. And it talks about the insurance that you can have for the laptops, okay? Um, the laptops are roughly 400 or some dollars. Some of you might have got insurance last year. This year, the way they're doing it, in, they're doing it in-house. It's $40 for the policy and then $40 for every claim. So it would be $80 max or $80 for the first claim and then 40 thereafter, or however you, you do the math. Anyway, and I'm a math teacher. Uh, the next thing um, on there is, as you can see, you know, a screen. If a kid breaks a screen, there were probably a dozen screens that got broken last year, okay? And that would be $140. So if they had to replace the screen, okay? Or if you had the insurance, the $40 for the the policy and then $40 for the claim. Uh, keyboard, $40. Um, what we found, since it's the kids' computer that they keep with them, they don't pick at the keys like when it's not theirs. Because when it's not theirs, they pick at the keys, pop the keys off, stuff like that. Well, then to replace it, it's $40. Power cord is $30. You really shouldn't have to worry about that one because all the power cords are in the, in the, the, um, Card. The case, if something happens to the case, um, the hard covering on the computer, that's $30 to replace. Uh, full replacement is $440. So you get to decide uh, with your child what you want to do. Uh, and I always look at insurance as it's kind of like a plunger. You need one, but you hope you never have to use it. So. All right, um, some items would be, might be covered under homeowners or renters policies. You'd have to check with your insurance. Um, and then we will be doing a new, di well, the digital citizenship we did last year, um, but we're doing it again under a different brand. And then also we're gonna be doing keyboarding in here during uh, Rebel Power Hour and Advisory. And we'll talk about that again. Uh, free and reduced for if you fill one out for one child that's all you have to do is just fill out the one for the one child you don't have to fill it out for all the children it's this one so the free and reduced meals uh, must sign and return if you don't qualify office will assist if needed um, it helps the school with funding so um, even if you don't qualify by you turning in your form it helps with the percentage of returns, which helps with the funding. So, student health information is another one here. Questionnaire for you to fill out. Um, anything that we need to know. Uh, an example, uh, my middle child uh, has gotten stung by bees, no problem. All of a sudden, the last time, now he foot blew up. So now we got to worry about an allergic reaction, getting stung by bees. Something that I know we are letting the teacher be aware of in the school. Transportation letters in the packet. 
Now is the yellow one. The calendar was on the top. Now as you shuffle through everything, it's not on the top. It is the gray one, and it just has the school calendar. You can get the school calendar also off the website. The Rebel Way uh, students, you remember last year you'd get to earn bucks. Um, some teachers hand them out like candy, and some teachers it's like a uh, safe. They don't come out unless it's really, really something important. But uh, the prizes and so forth, they worked on those. Um, so like for 10 rubber bucks, you can get into the dance free. 10 rubber bucks is a dollar in the a la carte. Um, a number of uh, rubber bucks might take place of a homework assignment in a teacher's classroom. Um, the drawings are held, what did we help hold them? But once a week last year, and then a uh, big one for the end of the semester. Fall conferences. On the 12th, October 12th, it's an invite only. So if uh, you'll get a phone call from me um, inviting you to the conference on the 12th. Um, usually we have that anywhere between six to eight kids. And the way that's set up is just all the teachers and the parents come in in one room so you can go through it quicker, but also in more detail. So that way you can meet with all the teachers and we can come up with a a plan to help your child, okay? Whether it's uh, behavior-wise or academic. Um, the 13th, I believe the next conference is on the 13th. That is an open house. So if you don't get a call for the 12th, definitely show up on the 13th. Okay, everybody's invited for the 13th. Questions and conferences. We did, we've done this, I think, the last three years, this kind of format. And we've, from parents, we've gotten positive feedback. So if you don't like it, I guess, go tell me, tell someone else. Um, and then, uh, so they know that. Questions? The website, you can get there by either dgfrebels.org. Also, you can still get there through the dgf.k12.mn.us address. On in the middle school website, through that, there's the activities calendar there. You have the middle school departments tab in the middle school tab. You also have parent portal. Parent portal is where you're going to go for JMC. JMC, if you remember, that's the grading. Um, I know the kids know it because they would want to look at it seven times in one class period just because they didn't want to do their math, so they would always look it up. Whoa, look it up my grades. Oh, okay, now let's get back to work. Uh, but that's for the parents to see that, see the grades, where they're at. Handbook, we'll cover the handbook first two or three weeks in class through uh, Rebel Power and Advisory. Otherwise, we go through pretty much word for word in the handbook. So parents, if you want to go through that with your children. Uh, here's again the website. Uh, the parents, the parent portal in here for you to access certain things. Um, this is a, specifically for attendance. You know, attendance, last year you called in. Um, you can still call in using the same number, I believe. Or you can go online and then fill this out, and that's done. So uh, I haven't actually gone through and done it, but it's an option to go online and do the attendance to uh, let us know. Technology policy, uh, student cell phones. Um, I know they, they always want to carry them in class and they always have them off in class but then they go off. Okay. So what is asked of you is that when you come to school at 8.30 you turn them off and put them in your locker Okay, everyone has a lock, so you can lock it up, okay, and then at 3.05 you can get them back. Okay, oh, but I need to call my mommy, it's so important. Well, you can still do that, you just go to the office and call. No problem. Um, the office wants to know what's going on, that's why if you need to contact your child, please refrain from texting or calling them. I know sometimes that's hard to do, parents, but uh, try to refrain from that. Um, their phones should be turned off. Um, 
That's the policy. So, there it is. The questions? All right. Uh, and then, obviously, if you need to get a hold of your child, you can still call the office and they'll get the message to your child. On uh, return, students should go to the office if they are not feeling well. Don't text mommy or daddy, hey, come get me. Okay? Go through the office. Um, they have a procedure for you to go through and so forth. And you'll still get to go home if it's something that you need to go home for. Okay? We won't keep you here. This is, I believe this is the updated one. Nah, it might not be updated. All right. Anyways, your first four classes are your core classes. Your math, social, science, and English. Okay? So you're going to have your first four classes, the first four hours. And then we go to Rebel Power Hour. That's still the same. And then we have lunch. But if you notice here, they don't have any uh, passing time and stuff. So, uh, this one, Rebel Power Hour is still 12 to 12.15. Lunch is still 12.15, 12.45. But then what you're going to do, and I'll have this up, and I'll go over this with the students more detail on Tuesday. But uh, we have instead of Rebel Power Hour again here, you're going to handle your supplies, your laptop, all that stuff, and you're going to go to your sixth hour class. So this gets moved up, and then you do your sixth hour class, and then again you're going to go back to your advisory to drop all your stuff off because then your seventh hour, and I believe seventh hour for you guys is your by ed music and band. Okay? And then you drop everything off back into um, your power hour and then we end with advisory. So this for right now is a little different right in here because uh, we're just going to have the rebel power hour once and then this rebel power hour, that 10 minutes disappeared for passing time because they didn't have passing time calculated in there. We don't want everyone to have all those parties. So uh, we and it's more than four minutes in that time period there, so don't panic. And we'll go over that in more detail. Parents, any questions on that? They got their first four core in the morning, so when you're thinking about dentist appointments and other appointments, if you can do it in the afternoon, that's awesome. Although I understand it doesn't always work that way, but um, so you have that. Not that the other classes aren't as important, but I like to think math is. So. All right, um, here's just a generic um, schedule here with somebody having geography first. They're in Mrs. Westgard. And you can look at yours. It is the green one, salmon color. That, not salmon, it's green. This one right here it has your schedule on there. Uh, you can see, obviously, you're all math first. So, and then from there, you're going to go to your other four classes for the first four. You'll go to Rebel Power Hour. Um, then we go to lunch, and then it's a little bit of, um, from lunch, you are going to go to sixth hour. We're just giving you more time to get there and moving that time up a little bit. And then after sixth hour, you go to seventh hour. But before you go to seventh hour, because you're going to those classes, you are, again, going to have time to come back into here to drop off your stuff. So, um, Silver Day on Tuesday, I'm sure she mentioned that down there, correct? Yes. Okay, everyone is in a heat wave. Okay, so uh, Silver Day on, so in this case, this person would have Phi Ed, and then the Black Day is Band and Choir for this student. Okay, you can see yours on there. Some of you might have Read 180 in place of this, because trimester one, you have Read 180 instead of Phi Ed Band and Choir. Okay, uh, there are some other special cases as well. You'll, you sh it should denote that somewhere on there. Students, any quick questions? And of course, we'll go over that in more detail. You should be familiar with this. Um, uh, little thing down here is that you do not, in 7th and 8th grade, you don't have to be in a music class. Locks. Everybody in here has got a brand new lock, okay? On there, 
it should, just to double check, it should have your name, your last name on the little sheet of paper right there. And hopefully it has your last name. Um, that is the lock that is checked out to you. I've already got that written out. And then um, that's your combination that's written there. So it'll have the equal sign greater than, or one equal sign greater than, that's your first number. And then two equal sign greater than, that is your second number. And then three greater than, equal sign greater than is your third number. Okay, so you can go ahead and play around with that right now. Uh, parents, if you need help with JMC, getting set up for instant alerts, or any other technology questions, um, you can go to the 8th grade locker bank, which is right over, over there. Um, and they'll get you helped out there. We have like four spare lockers this year for all 350 kids, okay? Don't ask to switch a locker unless it is something very severe. Just because the person next to you annoys you and they always annoy you or whatever, if you can deal with it, deal with it. If you absolutely can't deal with it, then you can go to the office and, and try to get a locker switch, but um, it, it's going to be tough. And whether or not they even have a locker to have you switch into, I don't know. So, um, and then use your locker, don't use your buddies, because then all of a sudden someone locks it and you don't know the combo. Keep your combination private. That way, you can't say, oh, but somebody else put this in my locker or somebody else took this out of my locker. If you keep your locker locked, everything should keep secure, safe. You have your schedules. You have your locks. Does anybody have any questions? Parents, any questions? Not everybody at once, please. <laughs> All right, uh, you are free to um, roam, go through the schedule with your child, uh, meet the teachers, so forth. Hopefully the other classes are filling up about this same time. Good luck, see you Tuesday.
She's just wanting to know if she's been advancing at this year. Do you want to talk to Heidi about it? Yep. Okay. Uh, is this something that happened like three, four weeks ago? You guys registered? We were, yes. Okay. We were. Um, and I believe we talked about it when we looked on the transcript. It had in there as a note she would be in regular math the next year. Is what it had as for a note. I, I, I know, but that's what it had for a note. Because, see, the hard part is somebody's advanced class. They, because of all the different standards and how they range things, the names have changed so that algebra, if someone says algebra, it doesn't mean that they're in algebra. It, it, it might mean that it's the eighth grade class. Or some people might be in advanced class because it's just caused, called that to make it sound better. I, I, I don't know. Then I need to talk to her. Yeah, I, I would go back and talk to her again and then. And then we will, uh, we'll, I guess we'll revisit. Uh, also, I know for both of us, uh, philosophy is, um, you guys really want it. I mean, we're not going to say no. You know, um, but we'll, we'll, we'll provide that opportunity. I, I don't have a problem yeah, with that. It's that just, was one of the things moving that we were worried about. Because, you know, nobody, yep. you know, the small, she was in advanced English and advanced math this year. So okay. she had to give up advanced English. And she was really worried about not having, yeah, having yeah. already done the right. work here yep. doing this yep. Yep. So I, I absolutely hear you. Um, I guess that would, yeah, we'll have to just revisit that. So if you want to stop in and talk to her, then she'll talk to me. And, but I know from past, you know, when parents are adamant, no, this is what we want, and right. this is where they're at, and, okay. Okay. I mean, All right. I'll talk to her then. Yeah. 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 I don't see the fine print repeat in the same Right. Last year. Right. So. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Yeah, because we a lot of times we have to kind of guess because each school, like I said, each school describes and gives descriptions differently. Okay. Because like I know our eighth grade, we teach everything out of the algebra book. Right. But I just don't do the extra lessons in each chapter, okay. the harder okay. lessons yeah. in each chapter for the eighth graders. So they'll say, oh, but I took algebra last year. Well, no, you didn't. You just worked, worked out an algebra book. They definitely so took algebra last year. No, yeah, so uh, that's just, you know, our scenario situation. Right. So. Okay, yeah. And so I'm going to talk to Heidi and have her switch. I cannot repeat that. I'm not repeating that. They had right. a they had So a then, pilot thing um, and then if that gets changed, the advanced class is second and third hours. So you'll get moved. Schedule will change and you'll be second or third. Okay. So. Alrighty. Alright. I will take care of that. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Up there. Thank you. Yeah. Hello. Caitlin gave this to me. Oh. She finally cleaned out her backpack oh. today from last year. Oh, year. I got a whole bag from uh, Mr. Reno over there. He has a drawer like this. And a lot of them have. Uh, 256 or health to belly or something on them because they same thing yeah. and all of a sudden they clean out their bag for the next year yeah. and they're like oh I got a calculator uh, and well and this they, one's got some she said Ash or Ash or Ash or uh, Allie gave it to me uh -huh. and I said well it says Justin Ashby on it <laughs> yeah yeah so thank you though yes we'll have that looks like you need a few more we, we do, we do. Um, one thing that hopefully they have this year too is on their computers, there's supposed to be an app now that will actually pop up a TI-84. Oh. A uh, uh, graphing calculator should pop up on there. Oh. And I don't know how that's going to work yet. Well, you know, Caitlin, New York got ours. Oh, there you go. And uh, it's just a problem. It's not going to be just a problem. It's for college too, Right, so. and it'll be easier to use that than yeah. on the screen. Yeah. So a lot of people don't remember. You see, we walked into office and they were on sale and the first year he goes, perfect. Like, yeah, you know. Perfect. I'm like, yep, we do. So. All right. Do you Say hi for me. So when, well, I mean, we didn't have Megan coming yet, but so when we end up with two extra, because they won't use these anymore, do you guys just want them? Uh, yeah, because, I mean, there's, there's going to be, there's always kids who, for whatever reasons, don't function as well using what's on the screen. You know, sure. I mean, you know the computers are like anything. Uh, 80% it helps, 20% it makes it dysfunctional. Right. Uh, well, for whatever reason. Things, I mean, I'm not like certain things, I just.
just like to print it off and look at it on paper so I can bring it exactly. something on it. Exactly. So, How are you? Yep. Yeah. All right. Thank here. you. Yep. Thank you.